Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD. And yes, we are finally going to do the review on Lenovo's Yoga C930. So let's get started. Now the Yoga C930 is a beautiful, well-designed laptop. But for the price tag, starting price of $1,200, it's pretty expensive. I think the only hype thing about this machine is the surround sound system, the whole sound bar that it has. Uh, the specifications was okay. Uh, I'm a little disappointed on the capacity of memory. And the weight is not that bad. Uh, it's a little over three pounds, but for me, it feels a little lighter. It is a yoga, which basically means you're going to get the standard four modes, which is not special anymore. You're going to get the tent mode, laptop mode, presentation, and I believe tablet mode. I do enjoy the color of this particular model. Uh, it is iron gray which kind of stands out a lot. Uh, I really love the color on this C930. Now for ports and features, again, it's very limited on ports and features. I think the only thing that this thing is hyped is the sound bar. That's it. If you have the laptop facing you to the point that you're able to open it up on your right hand side, you got your power button and then you have your active pin right here at the top. On your left hand side, you have one audio combo jack, which allows you to hook up a headphone or a headphone with a mic system. You have two Type-C ports, which is all full functional, meaning it's power delivery and you are able to hook up external monitors, which is awesome. And then you have one 3.1 USB, which is always on charging. All right, so we went over some of the ports and features on the Yoga C930. Let's open this guy up real slow because it's awesome. I love the color. This iron gray uh, is the type of color that I will use for all my laptops uh, other than black, right? Uh, again, the power button is located on your right hand side if you're facing it while it's open. So let's press the power button, power this guy on. Now the C930 is extremely fast when boot time uh, due to the fact that it has a solid state drive and uh, within the power settings there's fast boot enabled by default. So that's the reason why you're getting that fast boot. So that's a good thing. Now one of the cool things about uh, the Yoga C930 is the fingerprint scanner. Uh, I love laptops with fingerprint scanners. You see this a lot with ThinkPads because it has an extra security layer. I have mine configured and pretty seamless. Just put your finger there and then you're good to go. Now, another thing about the C930 that I like is the trackpad. Uh, I was super amazed that the trackpad did not give me any issues. I mean, it, it wasn't really fidgety. Uh, it just worked. There were some occasions that when I was using it with Premiere, which is a big no-no, using a trackpad when editing video is a big no-no. Uh, like a Bluetooth or a wireless mouse is the way to go. But I found myself using the trackpad a couple of times when I was in Premiere. Uh, it's really sensitive, but that's a Windows setting that you could configure. But other than that, it's okay. The real estate on the trackpad is, it's nice enough for you to do whatever you need to do on it. Uh, I believe uh, it's four inches by two and a half inches, which is not that bad. Uh, I'm a little disappointed it doesn't have like a little slash in the middle telling you what's right or left, which is okay. Now the keyboard itself is backlit, which is pretty awesome, but I did notice that every time I turned it on, I did not see an indication on the window side stating that it was on and off. Normally you have like a nice little symbol indicating that the key backlit is on and off, and it wasn't there. So I don't know if that is a software or a hardware problem, but the backlit does work and it's pretty bright if you're using the laptop at night. Uh, another thing that I noticed that the control key and the function key are in the right location. So that means I don't have to go inside Lenovo Vantage to uh, configure the function key to get swapped with the control key. Now the keys on the keyboard, uh, it felt kind of strange. It felt extremely flat for me. I didn't like the way it felt. Uh, I was surprised that when you convert the C930 to a tablet mode, the keys itself did not suck into the keyboard casing, but they feel like they're sucked in already. They don't, they don't feel rised up. Uh, so I, it felt really strange for me to type sometimes on this particular keyboard. Uh, I just didn't like the way it felt on my fingertips. I'm so used to having the keys, like the ThinkPads, uh, like the keys are like really bulky and like they raise up, uh, but the distance between each key, if you take two quarters, that's the distance that you're gonna have. And don't get me wrong, if you're a fast typer, you're not gonna make any mistakes because of the key distance, but uh, 
the flatness of it, I just don't like it at all. Now the C930 uh, from Lenovo comes with a beautiful 13.5 glossy IPS display, uh, which is touch screen. I really didn't find myself using the touch screen as much. Well, I did when I was using Photoshop and I needed to zoom in and zoom out to use the active pen to trace or color or do something like that. That's the only time you would see me use the touch screen uh, but the display itself is amazing when you're viewing like movies like Netflix or Hulu. Beautiful colors, very bright. I mean, the brightest that this display will go to, uh, this is the brightest right now, and this is the lowest, which is not that bad. I'm still able to see all the fonts uh, and all the icons on the desktop. The background is completely like blacked out. And this is the brightest that you could go right now. Now on top of the 13.5 display, uh, you have a 720p webcam. And one of the cool things about the webcam is that it has this uh, shutter privacy thing right here. Uh, one of the things I do not like about it, even though it's cool to have, is that it feels kind of cheap. Uh, you got to really put some force to open and close it. And uh, I feel like the more you open and close it like constantly, it's going to get loose and eventually get stuck on you. So just keep in mind in the future. Now I was disappointed that Lenovo sent me only the full HD model of the Yoga C930. It does come in two flavors on the display. You got the full HD, which is a resolution of 1920 by 1080. That is the version that I have. And then you have the 4K model. Oh, it'd have been great to see the 4K model when I was watching like movies and stuff like that. But overall, the 1080p works extremely well. All right, so talking about the 13.5 inch display, I did notice that when you're using the machine heavily, uh, it gets extremely hot right here at the bottom of the display, as well as the very top of the keyboard. I mean, it really gets hot. I didn't really notice the heat at the bottom of the laptop when I was using it on my lap, which is fine, but it gets really, really hot up here and over here. Also, when I was using the laptop, when I was running my battery test, I did notice that uh, the laptop does make a little bit of a sound. It's not a huge sound that will drive me crazy to the point that I'm gonna box it up and take it back to the store, but it's like a small little, like it raises up and then it lowers down. But just keep in mind that does happen. Now talking about the battery on the C930, uh, the way I like to do my battery test is I like to run PC Mark 8 three times, charge it, uh, write down how long it takes to charge for 100%, and then take it home without the power supply and just use it like a regular user. Now for the first test on PC Mark 8, it gave me three hours and 29 minutes. On the second test, it gave me four hours. And on the last test, it gave me three hours and six minutes. So it gave me a good idea of how long this machine's going to last. I said to myself, okay, now let's double that up, maybe six to six and a half hours. On the third test, I like to charge it up. Again, you are using a type C connection to charge the C930. So I was assuming automatically that I'm gonna get a fast charge. Now I started at 5.49 a.m. with 18%, fully 100% charge took around one hour and 45 minutes, which around 7.24 I was already up and running with 100%, which is not that bad. Uh, around 6.23, 56, 50%, 50 that's not that bad. I'm still able to use it with no problem. Now for my fourth test, again, I like to take it at home, use it as a regular user. I used it for four days. I didn't use it straight. Uh, I don't think normal people will use a laptop straight. You know, it depends on what you're doing. Uh, but I got seven hours out of this machine, which is not that bad for four days. This consists of me going online, checking out my YouTube, uh, leaving comments, editing, watching Netflix and Hulu, composing emails, uh, Windows update pushes and all that other stuff. I got seven hours, which is not that bad. I could probably stretch it out to maybe eight hours if I change the setting on the display and also the power option, you could probably get it maybe to eight and eight and a half hours. Now for the performance on the C930, I was not too impressed. Uh, the specifications that I have on this particular laptop is okay, but it wasn't to the point that I'm able to render things quickly. Uh, if I right click on the taskbar right now and go to task manager, uh, let's open this guy up a little bit 
And let's go to performance. And within performance, the CPU that this particular machine has is an i7-8550U with a clock speed of 1.80 gigahertz. Now for memory, we only have 12 gigs. Now from my understanding, this is on board. This is soldered in on the motherboard. That means I can't upgrade it. So if you're purchasing 12 gigs, you're stuck with 12 gigs. For a hard drive space, uh, you have a solid state drive. This is a 256 gig solid state drive. I think the max is one terabyte. We're gonna go over the max specs pretty soon. And for the graphics card, it, it only has the Intel Ultra HD Graphics 620, which comes with the Intel uh, eighth generation processor. With these specifications, you would think I would get great performance, but uh, looking at these pictures, when I was encoding some of my files, like a 1080p file, it, was, it took forever, and these are short files. This was a minute and 15 second file. Uh, I was trying to convert it into a 1080p, and it, w it just took forever, and I was like, why? Why is this happening? The CPU wasn't even flatline. It was only 48%, and it was only using 8 gigs of memory, and it just took 4 or 5 hours to render out. I did not like the performance at all. Now, don't get me wrong, Photoshop and Illustrator works extremely well with it, but when it comes down to editing video, I don't really recommend the C930. Now, one of the things that I am kind of disappointed on the C930 is the design and placement of the active pen, right? Uh, typically, the active pen is located on the lower right-hand side of the keyboard that you're able to just press it, it ejects, take it, go right away, right? It's not that it's not the case on well, the C930 is located at the very top right like you would say to yourself like, okay Bernardo you're not gonna take the pen out when it's in laptop mode yeah, okay so we're gonna put it inside tablet mode right but the problem is with tablet mode is that I'm holding it the wrong way you're supposed to hold it this way right because this is where the black border is located and allows me to hold it just like this but to access the pen, look, I, have to, I still have to have it this way to grab it this way. Doesn't make any sense. It's, it's not. It's not well designed. It's not. I don't. I don't know what the Lenovo was thinking about when they placed the pen over here. I just don't like the pen location over here at the bottom. It's just really odd. Like, look, see, it's just so odd to have the pen there. So uh, that's one of the things I do not like about the, the C930. Now for the active pen, still uh, no indication or indicator on the pen itself to tell you the battery life. Uh, there's no indicator on the taskbar. You have to launch the Lenovo Vantage to actually get the status of the battery on the active pen. I didn't really test out the battery life on the active pen, but I'm assuming maybe between five to six hours. But if you go inside hardware settings and within hardware settings, go to inputs and within inputs, you are able to go all the way down right here to the pen section and just touch the tip of the pen here. And it will give you an indication of the battery. Now for the sensitivity on the active pen, it works extremely well again with uh, Photoshop. So we are going to launch a Photoshop file real quick. And we are doing a little bit of tracing. Now for the active pen, I did not find myself using it like a regular pen. Now the best way to use the active pen is when you are within tablet mode. And again, um, using Photoshop or Illustrator for this particular machine works extremely well. It allows you to trace uh, things extremely easy. Uh, it, it works really well. For the touch screen, I'm able to rest my palm and still use the pen without any, losing any connection. Everything is pretty smooth, pretty seamless. I didn't have any problems. Again, I am not an artist using an active pen, but it, it just works. Now, one of the hype features on the C930 is the sound bar, the surround sound system. And this guy is a beast. So right now I'm at my channel. I'm gonna play one of my videos. So right now it's 30%, and we're gonna raise it up to 50%. It goes by tools, all right, 38. This is 50%. Now we're gonna do 
Top number two on my list is the tamper protection. It's a new feature. The base of the speaker is so strong that it actually makes the laptop at the bottom right here vibrate. Uh, By default, it is enabled for you. Like so it's that's crazy. Cool. Top number three on my list, it looks like uh, Microsoft has added a hotkey to automatically pop out uh, the symbols and the Japanese character faces. Now, again, it's considered surround sound system because you got the sound bar right here kind of pushing right in your face, but at the very bottom of the laptop, you have two additional speakers on the right and left. That means that the speakers at the bottom of the laptop are hitting the surface and just pushing out that vibration, which is extremely awesome. Ten. So what it does is for us admins when we're pushing out. All right, guys, so let's conclude on the C930 uh, review. So let's go over some of the pricing and the max specifications on this particular machine. So if we go inside the Lenovo site, start and retail price is around $1,200. Ugh, it's really expensive. Uh, I wouldn't pay that much for this device. Again, I do not like the way that the keys fill. That's one. I don't like the placement of the active pen. Uh, the only thing that this machine has going is the sound bar, the surround sound system. That's the only thing that I am kind of impressed. Everything else is mediocre to me. <laughs> the tech specifications are the following. Uh, you could get up to 8th generation processor, i7-8550U. That's what I have with a clock speed of 180 uh, gigahertz. And you could go up to 4.0 gigahertz on Turbo Boost. I should have done that when I was doing a little bit of my rendering. Uh, I could have saved some time or cut some of my time. Uh, primary operating system is Windows 10 Home or Pro. Uh, you're definitely stuck with the Ultra HD 620. Only up to 16 gigs of memory and it's on board. So you're stuck. So make sure you purchase the right model for you. I think you could get 8 gigs, 12 gigs or 16 gigs. Storage size is up to a terabyte, solid state drive. And again, you get two flavors on the display. Now, the one that I have is around 13.5. That's what I measured. Lenovo site is indicating 13.9. Uh, Full HD, this is the one that I have. This is the one that I've been reviewing with the resolution of 1920 by 1080. But you are able to get the Ultra HD with a resolution of 3840 and 2160. And both of them are multi-touch. The camera itself, like I said before, is 720 HD. I did record uh, a couple of my videos on my channel using the 720 webcam, and it just, it works. It's not that bad. For battery life, it looks like Lenovo is advertising 14.5 hours for the full HD. For me, I got around seven hours, and I could push it maybe to eight hours. For Ultra HD, the 4K model, nine hours. And uh, yeah. I want to know. I want to know how much because twelve hundred dollars is again twelve hundred dollars is the retail price, and the highest one that you could get right now is fifteen hundred dollars. But this is the one that you're customizing it. You don't want to customize it. You're going to be spending fourteen hundred dollars. Uh, you're definitely going to get the i seven eighty five fifty U processor. Uh, wow, for only fourteen hundred dollars, you're still going to get stuck with the full HD, sixteen gigs of memory. 256 gigs of solid state drive. All right, it's not that bad. Okay, it's not that bad. If you customize it, that means you can max out the memory, which is 16 gigs, right? You can definitely get the Ultra HD model. Uh, you can get the one terabyte. It's going to cost a little bit more. So if you customize it and you max out the hard drive and the memory and you get the Ultra HD, the 4K model, it's going to be a little bit around, I'll say $1,800. To me, $1,800 laptop is pretty expensive, especially if it's not running in peak performance when I need it to render my videos out. Uh, that's the only issue that I had. The placement of the active pen, I think that was a bad choice in Lenovo. Uh, the way that the keys fill, I don't like it at all. Uh, the fingerprint scanner is an additional security layer. I like that on all the laptops. Uh, the webcam kind of security privacy thing right here. Uh, my major concern is the more I use it, it's going to get loose. It, it just feels really cheap. Uh, it feels like it's going to get stuck in the future, but who knows? It really depends on how you know you manage it. The only best thing about the C930 is the sound, <laughs> and that's it. I feel like if I was using the sound 100% 
all the time. It will get a little bit choppy. Uh, it, the sound will get distorted, so I don't recommend using uh, your laptop on 100%. I would say 75% would be great. 100% is just risking uh, the speakers to go out or blow out on you. And that's it, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this review on the Lenovo's Yoga C930. Uh, don't forget about hitting that like button, and i catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.